Bonjour, comment allez-vous? Hello, how are you? Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Learn French with Anubhav. If you have already subscribed to my channel, press the bell icon to get the latest updates. So, if you have seen the community post, I had posted a few days back that I'll be sharing a few videos about my DEF B2 experience, the exam that I gave last month on 14th March 2024. Now, if you are one of those students who have been connected with me uh, on Facebook or Instagram, they would be knowing that this attempt was not my first one. This was my second attempt. Yes, this was my second attempt. I cleared my Delft B2 in my second attempt. Why? Because in the first attempt, I had made several mistakes and those are the mistakes that I'm going to discuss in this particular video. So. The agenda for today's video is discussing about the do's and the don'ts for all the four sections in brief uh, for the DELF B2 examination. So brief background, I have already, I had already cleared DELF A1, A2, B1 up to my class 12th CBSC. Then I had to take a break from French, kind of, because of my graduation BCom honors and then when I was uh, going to start my postgrad, I thought of going towards DELF B2 once again. Though I had continued with, of course, my YouTube channel and my online classes, my teacher had been teaching me uh, throughout my graduation as well. But I couldn't give much time towards French. So, talking about the score, uh, I had shared in the community tab as well. So, in the first attempt, first attempt score I haven't really shared actually. So, uh, in the first attempt, I had scored 47.5 and to clear the DELF examination, you need to have at least 50, 50 marks in total and minimum 5 marks from each of the sections. Production oral, production écrite, comprehension oral, comprehension écrite. Reading, listening, writing and reading. These are the four sections, the way you have it in IELTS, the same way. The format is of course a bit different. So, uh, so if I talk about the score, in uh, the first attempt, 47.5, production oral and equite were 13 each. Uh, comprehension equite was shocking, it was just 10 marks, and uh, uh, comprehension oral was 11.5. Fast forward to March exam, uh, the second attempt. Uh, first attempt was in September last year, 2023. So, second attempt, production oral, 17, production equite, 23. Uh, comprehension oral and equate like one was 16.5 one was 15.5 so I don't really remember okay <laughs> I've just written in the notebook what I remembered right so 23 plus 17 is uh, 40 and 16.5 uh, plus 15.5 it's uh, 32 so 32 plus 40 for 72 in total which is like 22 marks more than the uh, passing requirement and also 24 roughly 24 marks more than the previous attempt so, what uh, mistakes I avoided this time to clear the exam in this attempt and also to have a major improvement because 24 marks improvement in DELF exam is a pretty considerable one. So, of course, I'll be making some more videos on DELF B2 experience like uh, probably a few things I would like to share from A1, A2, B1 experience and from where I prepared like um, what did I do, how I prepared, how did I do self-study, from uh, what all sources I prepared, right? So those are a topic to be discussed for a separate video because I don't want to make one long video. I want to make shorter videos, right? So that you can watch uh, that much only as much as you need. So continuing with what we were discussing, now let's start discussing uh, section wise. Number one being production oral, which is your speaking test. You are getting two options. Choose one subject, 30 minutes preparation. Then you need to do a monologue and then a debate. Easy. So, the mistakes that I did, I did in the previous attempt. Uh, I didn't really follow the structure. And uh, I was unable to answer one of the, like not unable to, like I said uh, my uh, argument, it wasn't that strong. 
and uh, the examiner said that that doesn't make sense that doesn't make much sense right so that argument was not a good one and uh, i didn't use much of the connectors yes i didn't use much of the connectors and yeah like my expose we call it expose the monologue it wasn't divided in sections as such this time i divided into sections i didn't write everything in the bureau bureau is the rough paper last time i wrote everything on the bureau this time only the main points some examples and the connectors that i have to use that's it i didn't write everything because i because we are we need to explain it simultaneously as well so i used connectors i used the structure i used the uh, arguments examples etc 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 for the debate i could have got more marks in production or all but i know my mistake i kind of repeated some of my arguments that i had already presented in my expose i should have brought some more new arguments as well number 1 number 2 avoid repetition of same words again and again like for in my case i don't know why i literally don't know why in my daily life when i am speaking french i don't use peut-être so much when i am speaking english i don't use perhaps so much when i am speaking hindi i don't use shayad so much god knows what happened <laughs> in the exam i just kept saying peut-être 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 which is perhaps peut-être peut-être for every argument i kept saying peut-être this was a bit weird on my side i could have used the alternative of it that would have fetched a bit more marks anyways now i have told you like what you need to take care of if you are a student going to appear for your b2 exam somewhere in future make sure you are not repeating my mistake right so an improvement of four marks in uh, from first to second attempt production ekrit was the best section like my best result was in production ekrit from 13 in first attempt i got i got to 23 out of 25 in second attempt now coming to the mistakes i did in the first attempt number 1 exceeding the word limit 250 words is the word limit be it an essay be it a report be it a formal letter be it a formal email these are the four things in general that you are going to get any one of these in your b2 exam for production ekrit as of now as per the cutting pattern so this was the scenario i wrote 380 words in my first attempt again i don't know what happened I, with the flow i just went with the flow i kept writing 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 and i'm pretty sure that there were a lot of grammar and vocab errors too then of course connectors were missing fine proper structure was missing and formula de politesse if you search on the net formula de politesse pour la la lettre formelle en français you'll get everything formula de politesse are the formal statements that sentences that we use in a form in the formal formal correspondence for example in hindi whenever we are writing aapcharik patra we write sabhi ne nivedan hai ki getting the point so in the same manner in every language we have some formal statements that are to be written in a letter in a email when send when in a formal scenario in b2 level you are going to get formal only right so i didn't use much of the formula the politesse the reason why somehow i managed to get 13 out of 25 in the first attempt is simply because i used numerous pruno pruno demonstrative pruno possessive etc adjectives everything was there i used conjunctions i used uh, tenses varied tenses subjunctive conditional conditional uh everything was there c clauses many things were there that's how somehow i managed to get 13 despite of exceeding the word limit and making errors and uh, absence of not absence 
partial absence of the required number of structure uh, required number of uh, connectors and the structure now coming to march 2024 attempt second attempt 23 out of 25 wow i was really happy i was not expecting this much because i had made a spelling mistake and i know because of that i had lost my mark i was about to write celibatar but i don't know what happened i wrote celibatar which is i guess not even a word or probably it's a word in french so mm, that was one mistake and one probably some minor errors were there now 25 marks i got 23 two marks got did i write fine it's okay i wrote 278 words exceeding by 15 to 20 words is fine beyond that please don't don't do that now when i'll make section wise videos of course i am going to discuss in more depth right how the words are being counted and what all things we need to include etc etc this is just a brief video to talk about the experience right do's and don'ts because see i am a person who has attempted once like twice one attempt was not a good one second attempt was a good one so i know the difference right i know the difference between a not so good attempt and between a good attempt right i know that what things should be avoided and what things should be done because i've experienced both of it that's why i'm making this video for you guys right uh yes connectors were there structure was there formal language yes formal language was there previous attempt i wrote informal tone avoid it if it's a formal correspondence you are expected to write a formal tone you are writing to maybe the director or maybe the boss or something whatever maybe the uh mayor <laughs> mayor is a very common topic <laughs> right and i got to write to the something like hr manager or something uh, employer basically right uh, to had uh, to build a canteen in the office and i had to write on that so stating the reasons what was the requirement what would be the benefits of course use connectors like uh, premier mode or cmo etc etc uh the lotus kote there are many connectors right i'll discuss it in some other video because as i said earlier if i clear delf p2 i would be starting with delf content as well and i'll be starting with the basics which is a1 right a1 then a2 then b1 then b2 it's going to be a long cycle so now you can say cbse curriculum and delf curriculum are going to go hand in hand and yeah from me i am starting my delf dalf now dalf is over now it's dalf diploma approfondi de la langue française so i'll be starting my preparation for dalf sea so from me so let's see when i get to clear dalf c1 dalf c1 is a way to advanced level <laughs> upper intermediate to advanced that journey is not going to be easy for me anyways let's see what happens so, so adhere to the word limit in production i create formal tone structure and yeah one thing that i did this time was utilizing the vuo actually last time i submitted the submitted back a blank rough sheet this time my rough sheet was full why because whenever i am forming a complex statement for my letter of course you have two and a half hours you need to, to complete three sections one hour this one hour reading half an hour listening one so listening is the first one then comes reading then comes writing so one hour you have divide the time properly right time management you need to do take ample time to write on the bouillon the complex statements that you are forming the uh, vocabulary spellings or the grammar concepts that you are using if you are not sure write it in on the bouillon first rectify that and then write in the uh answer sheet right this is what some so this is something that i did this time and that paid off i mean i'm happy 22 out of 25 i did not uh, <laughs> i was expecting like 1920 okay getting 23 i'm happy comprehensive agreed one tip i always give to my cbse students that 
translate as much as you can and uh, it's not necessary that you understand all the vocabulary and don't panic. These are the three things that I did the opposite in my first attempt. First, I panicked because B2 is something I had waited for a long time. Because of my graduation, I was very busy with my graduation academics. Okay, not a flex. I got to rank one, I got the gold medal at the GGS IPU for convocation for uh, from the course B Commoners. I have secured rank one. Like, see, at that time I had to focus on my academics for the college part, right? For my graduation. That's why I uh, wasn't uh, much uh, updated with the vocab and grammar. Like, see, up to CBSE class 12th curriculum, I have been in touch with that because uh, that's something which is done on a regular basis through my YouTube channel. I have been making videos, right? With my teacher as well, I couldn't have that many classes with my sir because of my hectic schedule. And we had classes and after that I didn't revise or I couldn't do anything as such because I was a part of nine societies of my college. I was, uh, uh, I was uh, focusing a lot on the academics as well at the same time. So it wasn't easy during the graduation journey to do anything towards Delft B2. So you can understand, in, uh, in the beginning of class 12th, I gave my B1 and uh, I waited for like four, four plus years to clear B2. So yeah, it, they, this was the reason for the panic. Panic was there, I was nervous, I was tense. What if I don't clear? I was tensed about that. And uh, after that, in that panic, I didn't read the passage properly. I wrote it in a very haphazard manner. And certainly that was the reason I scored just 10 out of 25 in my confluence circle. Okay, one funny thing. Usually it has been noticed that Delft B2 has been getting the old model. Right, old model is the one which we used to have pre-pandemic. Where we had true and false, subjective answers, fill in the blanks, etc. Hence, in the September attempt I got that. And in the March attempt too, we were expecting to get the old model. I got the question paper. I opened the first page. I saw MCQs. All the questions were MCQs. And MCQ is the nouveau model. The new model that got developed after the pandemic or during the pandemic. I don't really remember when it got launched. So it's entirely MCQ. Reading part and the listening part. I was like, okay, I'm screwed. Best part was that I had already given a mock at Alliance Francaise and I had cleared the mock. So that was a bit of a relief that okay, at least I did it once. Right. But yes, I was tense in the second attempt too. This time I read the passage properly. I translated as much as I can. I try to understand the word meanings as much as I can. And that helped me in improving by a margin of 6.5 marks, I'm happy. I was expecting roughly 14, 15, I got 16.5, I'm happy. Comprehensive Euclid. Though like I know 72 may not be a that excellent score in uh, when we see people, like they have, there are people who get 90 plus 2 in their B2 exam, right? But uh, given the level of exam, B2 is a considerable level because when I talked to my school teachers, they were like, wow, 72 is a good score for B2. Finger crossed for C1. I'm about to start my preparation. Let's see what happens. Lastly, Comprehensio Oral. Comprehensio Oral is uh, something that you need to practice on your own. It's listening. Right. Last time my practice was not that good. Still, I cleared the section 11.5. See, there is something called elimine and there is something called non admi. Non admi means that all the sections are clear, but the total was not above 50. So, my case was non admi. Elimine is when at least in one section you are getting less than 5. Even if the total is more than 50 in that case, if one section has less than 5 marks, it's elimine. Elimine means fail. 
and non admi non admitted right so in my case was non admi section was clear in the first attempt too i got 11.5 i was happy but again i was i had to be determined enough to clear in this attempt so i watched several youtube videos i did some practice from cosmopolit uh, abc and there are many more resources of course resources uh, and way of preparation from where i studied who taught me everything i'm going to discuss later like in some other video okay this video is a short one just do's and don'ts so only tip for oral practice watch news channels uh tv scientist there right watch that youtube podcast french podcasts and uh, try uh, initially try to have it with the subtitles then slowly try watching it without the subtitles and then try that okay are you able to comprehend try writing whatever you listen and then confirm that okay have you written the correct thing have you understood the correct thing and practice for both the models if you are a student who is going to attempt delf exam soon or maybe sometime in future practice both the models model the old one and the new model because there is always uncertainty there's this time like i had heard from my friends that in the december attempt to last year it was old model september old model december old model march okay let's give new model <laughs> because we never know before the exam until and unless we don't open the question paper we don't know what's the model right so prepare for both models that's pretty much it for this video my future videos on b2 will be my uh, like my experience uh, regarding my experience will be like how i prepared from where i prepared uh my teachers like uh then uh, some more tips maybe section wise i make one video or maybe that video those videos may come later because i need to start with a1 right videos on a1 i need to start with the content on a1 level the basic one right because then I, it will be a chronology a1 a2 b1 b2 like that so yeah and also b2 i want I, i was desperate to do b2 because b2 is the like see i did bcom honors certainly i am not eligible to go for masters in french because of two bcom honors no i am not a graduate in french right i am a graduate in commerce so how can i go for french masters and french masters is one of my dream so b2 is the minimum level that is required right you have a graduation degree along with b2 level you are good to go for masters in french so since uh, i am already pursuing my mba in regular mode i would have to go for correspondence and i am most probably going to offer igno only because uh, it has only once in a year exam and uh, uh, i have taken a look at the curriculum as well it is manageable with my mba right and of course it has all the recognitions and the online classes will be there very convenient for me so most probably in may or june whenever the registration opens i'll be registering for that as well so yeah that's pretty much it for this video i guess this video is also pretty, pretty long i didn't check the time anyways see to push you that's all for today if you like this video please give the thumbs up and subscribe to my youtube channel learn for channel buff and the family doubt or suggestion You may write that in the comment section below. You may also like my Facebook page by the same name, Lang Fortune Above. See you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Au revoir. Nous reparlons à la langue française et l'amour.